Hello viewers, welcome to Joy's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very special dish. I call it Moroccan style lamb chop pilaf. Uh, lots of people uh, ask me actually that why I always make vegetarian dishes. I am not vegetarian but also I am not a red meat eater but this is just for my husband and trust me that's so 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 good to eat. So here you go, check the recipe. To make this uh, lamb chop pilaf, I actually took one and a half kilo of lamb chops. You can add, um, uh, use actually normal curry meat or uh, even uh, mutton, but I quite like uh, lamb chop for this dish because it looks pretty and uh, I don't know, it's just I like lamb chop for this dish. And it's a one and a half kilo here. I took two medium sized onion and I just cut them half. I, do, I don't need to uh, chop them properly, it's just a big chunk of onions. I took two whole uh, large garlic and I just cut the mouth. I didn't detach any of those cloves. I took um, f uh, one teaspoon of black peppercorn, whole peppercorn, um, one teaspoon of uh, cardamom, like few cardamom actually, four to five uh, uh, clove, three to four cinnamon stick, three uh, bay leaf, four to five green chili, whole green chili. So these are the ingredients I actually need to boil my lamb. I'm gonna add one chicken stock cube. At first, I'm gonna boil my uh, lamb chops in with all those spices and around one and a half teaspoon of salt uh, to make a very good thick stock because I'm gonna cook my pilau in this stock. So and I'm gonna add enough enough water that. Uh, I can uh, use those water later um, to cook my uh, pilau actually. As you can see, I'm adding all my whole spices in it. I'm not using any uh, mace or any nutmeg, nothing. And I'm adding at least four cup of boiling water. And then I'm gonna cook it at least uh, 40 minutes to 45 minutes uh, in a moderate heat. And the lamb gonna be really done and nicely cooked at that time and i'm not adding any oil nothing no other spices just these whole spices and water and i'm gonna cover it and i'm gonna cook it for 40 to 45 minutes and you make sure that you are adding enough water because you need this water later to cook your pilau so if your water is uh, not enough then you have to add another maybe water after 50 minutes, um, I am actually straining all my uh, 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 spices and I am just uh, separating my stock to cook my pilau rice. And I'm, you can see, I am just mashing all my garlics, onions, green chilies just to take all the goodness from them. And uh, my lamb chops are separate and I put them in the corner now uh, because they are cooked actually. Yeah, try to take all the goodness from them. So this is my stock, you can see here is like three and a half cup of stock and I didn't add any other water, it's just the stock from the water which I add earlier. And that smell so, so good, trust me. This is the best part of this uh, cooking. Now to cook my pilau, I took two and a half cup of regular long grain basmati rice. You can uh, use any kind of rice actually, but I quite like long grain basmati rice for this dish. And I soaked it actually 15 to 20 minutes in hot water to make it like a... And then I took two medium sized onion and I finely chopped it. Around one uh, finger sized ginger and I crushed it and four to five green chili. So I took uh, like around one handful of uh, raisins here. Definitely need raisin. I took uh, two bay leaf, two uh, cinnamon stick, few uh, cardamoms, few cloves, and few whole black peppercorn. That's the same spice I used for uh, my meat. And I actually julienne, finely julienne some carrots. That's actually just for decoration purposes. I'm not gonna cook this uh, carrot with it. It's just for decoration. Salt, test taste wise and some cooking oil. 
So these are the ingredients I need for my pilaf. So in my cooking pot, I'm gonna add around two tablespoon of vegetable oil. If you want, you can add ghee or clarified butter. It's totally up to you. But I'm gonna make it a little bit healthy because I'm using lamb here. That's why I'm using just regular vegetable oil. But if you want to add ghee, go ahead and do it. And uh, yeah. So now I'm going to add all my finely chopped uh, onions and I'm going to fry them till they are really golden brown. I want my onion really, really golden brown. Not burn, really golden brown. So after 5 minutes, my onions are really golden brown now. Now I'm going to add all my whole spices and raisins and crushed ginger and green uh, chilies and I'm going to fry them for 1 minute. You can see my onions are really golden brown now. And now I'm going to add my pre-soaked rice in it and I'm going to fry this rice at least 5 to 10 minutes without adding any water. Just I'm going to fry the rice with these whole spices and raisins and salt and everything. So after around 6 minutes my rice are uh, fried now and now I'm going to add all those um, lamb chops in it and I'm going to again fry them for 2 to 3 minutes with rice and lamb, lamb chop together. So after 3 to 4 minutes my lamb chop and my rice are fried together properly. And now, as you can see, I already put one uh, kind of like a separate base because I, I don't want to cook my rice in a direct uh, fire. That's why I used this one just to uh, cover the fire. And I'm using all those uh, pre-made stock, the lamb stock in it. And I think it's enough to cook my rice. I don't need to add another extra water or nothing because that this is like proper amount of water for my rice and I'm gonna cook in moderate heat for uh, 10 to 15 minutes first without covering my pot just to uh, boil my rice little bit and I'm not gonna cover it now so after five to six minutes you can see my uh, water is boiling and now I'm gonna add around one teaspoon of rose water you can add keura water as well but I quite like rose water here but not more than one teaspoon because this is very strong and then I'm gonna cover it and then I'm gonna cover it for cooking it properly actually you can see I'm just distributing my rose water everywhere that's why I'm stirring it. Now I'm gonna uh, cover my pot with a uh, hard foil paper uh, just to steam my rice. And I'm gonna cover it with uh, its uh, lid. As you can see, you just make sure that your pot is covered properly because that's gonna be the steam gonna be inside and it's gonna like how we cook biryani exactly the same procedure. Just uh, and now I'm gonna put my pot on top of this base and I'm gonna cook it for another 40 minutes so here you go guys this is my actually Moroccan style uh, lamb chop pilau you can see I added all those uh, shredded carrots on top and some fried onions they look so good and if you follow my recipe and cook it you're gonna love 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 that recipe and this is very simple to make it's not too difficult so try my recipe follow my recipe and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and share my recipes with your friends family and neighbors and uh, trust me you should make it and enjoy this pilau rice and you're gonna thank me so here you go. Bye-bye. Ta-da.